Belarusian Air Defense Forces failed to shoot down drones attacking St. Petersburg. The attack on St. Petersburg, near which an oil depot was hit, could have been carried out during an experimental launch of a drone. This was stated by Ukrainian military expert Ole Zdanov. In recent months, there has been a big wave of presentations of the latest drones. First, it was the 300 kilometers, then 700, then 1000. There has even been a drone presented that can allegedly fly 3000 kilometers. There is information about St. Petersburg that it seemed to be an experimental launch and test. What is concrete is that neither the Belarusian nor the Russian air defenses were successful. The drones successfully reached their targets, he told Apostrophe TV. Speaking about the very facility about which Bavovna complained, Zdanov stressed that St. Petersburg is working not so much for the war against Ukraine, but rather for the Russian grouping in Syria because logistics across the Black Sea are difficult. In any case, any damage to the enemy's strategic facilities is to our advantage. This is our step towards victory, the expert noted. On the night of January the 18th, the Russian Defense Ministry reported that the Moscow and Leningrad regions had been attacked by a drone. It was shot down near Moscow and intercepted near St. Petersburg. Earlier in the morning, it was reported that an oil depot near St. Petersburg had been attacked. Meanwhile, Ukraine's Minister for Strategic Industries, Alexander Kamishin, claimed that Ukrainian-made drones had blown up the facility.